Hey everybody, Sinister Lex here, and today we have a different kind of mindset video answering the question, how do you know what area of your mindset to work on? And this question actually comes from my insider group. I got it a few days ago. I won't say who it is. I'm just going to pop over there on my screen real quick. I'm not going to show you guys. But uh, the question that originally uh, arose from this was that the person was feeling like they were too in their head, um, feeling feeling confident about their ideas one moment and then feeling like it's going to take too long to bring that idea to life the next moment. So th they know that there's a mindset issue here. They know there is a mindset issue, but what is that mindset issue and how do you overcome it? What is the, the mindset that you have to work on? So there's a lot of different mindsets that or mindset issues that you might face that are going to challenge you. How do you know which area to work on? Well, I mean, I guess you have to kind of drill down into the problem that you're facing. You know, go back to that problem. What is your problem? You're saying you're two in your head. Um, going from feeling confident about your idea to feeling it's not going to work in time. So it's going to take too long for you to build this thing. The The area of mindset, I don't know that it's one particular area of mindset. It's a... Uh, it is like you're not confident, but at the same time, you are confident. It's a it's a question of self-doubt, I guess. You're, you're doubting yourself, so how do you get to this point of knowing that it's going to work? Whenever we're looking at mindset, we're, we're trying to figure out what we need to focus on, what we need to do to overcome whatever problem is in our path. So it's always, for me, it's always a matter of asking questions that are like, how do I overcome this? Or what do I have to do to overcome this? What needs to happen to overcome this? And most of this gets solved by, by knowing your end result that you're trying to create. So whatever your evil empire looks like for you, mapping that out. So that's where, where I would start. If you want to figure out your mindset issue, you want to, you know, you have a mindset issue. So you want to figure out what that mindset issue is what you have to do to solve it map out what your evil empire looks like and i mean in exceptionally great detail getting it down on paper what does it look like what are you going to have whenever you've accomplished that thing what is going to be in your life what what are you going to buy what are what systems and processes bleh, i don't know not even systems and process let's go beyond that let's go to like the dream the fantasy the thing that you want how you're going to be living whenever you reach it, okay? So go to that point. And I want you to actually stop and do this. So if you are working on mindset, if you're trying to figure this out, I want you to pause the video and have a paper and a pencil. Sorry, I'm knocking the thing all around again. Get a paper and pencil, get ready to write, or do this in a Google document or something like that. It doesn't matter. But pause the video after I finish telling you what I'm telling you and then write this stuff down. Actually, that would be right now. So pause the video and write down all of the shit that, like the detailed picture, the clear picture. I want you to paint a really clear picture. No vagueness. If anything about it is vague, if you say you want a fancy car, what is a fancy car? If you say you want a fancy house, what does that mean? How many rooms does it have? How many bathrooms? Does it have a pool? What kind of pool? Is it in ground or above ground? Does that pool have a diving board? Like, I want you to take 10 to 20 minutes and write this shit out and do that now. Okay, so you wrote out your fantasy place. This great place that you're going to be whenever you make this business happen. And you have this idea for a business or you have, maybe you don't have a, night, a business idea. I don't know. There's a lot of different mindset issues. So I'm going to try and drill down on this one particular one. You have an idea, but you're not sure it's going to work in time for you to be able to experience life and enjoy life the way you want. So once you have your fantasy, you kind of have to work back from that knowing what steps have to happen between where you are now and where you want to be. So you've got your fantasy, you know you're over here at point A, you have to fill out everything that happens in between there. And I usually do this working backwards. So I am at the end result, Z, what comes before that? What What is the last thing that has to happen before my fantasy is complete? Do I have to sell my business or do I have to get an investor who invests a lot of money in my business? Or what? Like, what is that last piece, the trigger where you can finally break free from this business and live however you want? Or if you're in a business, what has to happen to make that happen? Do you have to get 10 $5,000 sales? Do you have to get that in order to create what's on the other side of that? Do you have to have, 
Do you have to finally launch your Facebook ad ads and automate your whole system so that you have consistent sales coming in every month, which lets you be free. Your time is free from your income so that you can do what you want. And then you work back from that. If it was, let's say it was Facebook ads, you have to do Facebook ads to automate the process for your time. You've got all the money coming in. You've got your thing before the Facebook ads can run though. What has to happen before that? So before you've got the automation, you have to set up your Facebook ads, right? And uh, to set up your Facebook ads, you have to have a Facebook account. So these are working backwards through the steps. And you want to do this all the way back to where you are right now until you get back to step one being, I'm right here, I have this business idea, and then you know that the very next step is to do what? Usually, if you want to overcome this fear, this mindset issue of, I have this great idea, but it might take a long time to build and it might not get me to my goals in time. Well, first of all, you have to know what the time frame of your goals is. That would be part of setting up the fantasy. When do you want to be at that place by? Then you can figure out if you can get there. You, As you're working back, you know how much money you have to have in circulation or coming in or whatever, how much money you need to create that thing because you already mapped it out all the way back to where you are right now. So if you know the amount you have to have, you know the time frame you have to have, then the next logical step for you is to figure out how you're going to get those first sales. You need to know how, like, will people buy this thing from you, whether you have it ready or not, whether this thing is already a product or you're in pre-selling mode, you have to put it out there, like put it out there and try to sell it. If you can get some sales and like once you get the sales, like you have to, you know your price point, you get some sales or you get some pre-sales, you know what people are willing to pay for this thing, whatever it is, whether it is a physical product, a digital product, a coaching package, whatever it is, like you know this is the price that this person paid for it whether it's one pre-sell or it's one sell or it's 10 or 50 or whatever you get up front. But you know that based on how long it takes you to get one customer at the price that you get that customer at, then you can multiply that out and uh, figure out how long it's going to take you to hit that end result. So if you got two customers, it took you a month and each of those customers is paying $10 for whatever your product is, So it takes you a month to get two customers at $10 and your goal is $50. How many months is it going to take you? If it takes you two, if it takes you one month to get two customers at $10 every time, how long would it take you? And that's like the minimum time. So you can assume you got two customers. You can probably do it again next month and the month after that and the month after that. And you can kind of calculate out the distance. This isn't a guaranteed thing, but maybe it'll help you figure out what needs to happen in terms of do you need to raise your price? Do you need to add more value so people will pay a higher price? Do you need to target a different market? Like these are, we're problem solving here, okay? We're figuring out ways around the problem. If you know this idea is great, if it really seems great to you, then the answer is we need to figure out who is this solving a problem for and how do we get them in at a higher price point so that we can move more quickly toward that end result, your evil empire. So I think that is the best way I can answer this for you. One being know your evil empire. Two being know the steps all the way back to where you are right now. Know how long, like know the time frame you want to reach that in. Know exactly what it is. Know how much money you need to be in that place and to sustain that place. And then go after your first sales. So sales are usually the first step in in any kind of business, you want to go after sales first. Go out there and get sales. Prove you can have sales in your business. Prove that this is a viable business and then figure out how to grow and scale from there, whether it is impacting on magnitude by getting higher paying customers in your business, each uh, you know more uh, value per client, lifetime value, increasing that lifetime value or increasing their initial investment or just getting more customers. What, Which one of those things do you have to do and how are you going to do that? Do you need to retarget your market? Do you need to reach out to a different niche? Are you, are you in the right place with the right product for the right people? And when you bring those things together, you'll propel yourself. Like the more you target this, you'll propel yourself toward that goal. You've got this end result though. If you get those first sales, you've, you have a proven concept. Even if it's a pre-sale, you still have proven concept that this thing will sell, that people want this. And then once you have sales, the only thing you have to do is figure out how to get more sales faster or make more impact per sale. So if you've proved your sales, then even if, 
even if you base this uh, base level sales base, so two people at $10 each per month, it takes you a month to get two people at $10, and that's gonna go past your end result. It's gonna take more time to get enough people and enough sales than you wanted to take to build your empire. Then the next thing would be, now that I have sales, what has to happen? Or what do I need to look at? What can I change? What little things can I tweak here and there and test? A, B, split testing to figure out what increases the number of sales or what price point people are willing to pay or how I can increase my value so I can charge a higher price point. That's what would be the next step to figure out. So you don't have to like limit yourself. You don't, there's nothing to fear here. There is only, I have this idea. I put it out there. Find the person who's going to buy it. How long does it take to get that? And what price point are they willing to buy at? And then from there, you can decide if it's worth it for you to continue, if that's something you want to do. Or if it just takes way too long, if it takes you six months to get a sale, well, that's probably a problem. And you probably need to adjust your offer, adjust your market completely and fast because you're already six months behind moving toward that goal. Anyway, I hope that answers this question. This was a specific question in my insider group. So if any of you are dealing with this or struggling with this kind of mindset issue, then I don't know, drop me a question down below or drop it in in the group and I will try and answer it. If you have any other mindset issues, bottom line is like ask yourself what problem you're dealing with right now and what ways, what different ways can you approach that problem? So you have a problem. How are you thinking it needs solved right now? Like go to that. How are you thinking it needs solved? What do you think needs to happen for that problem to be solved or for you to overcome that mindset barrier? And then beyond that, once you've asked that problem, once you've written down your solutions or whatever, now ask yourself, what else could I try? What else can I do? How else could I approach this? What fucking expansive thing could I be thinking that's totally outside of the box that nobody else would be willing to try or do or that just seems crazy and off the wall what other shit could I do to try and make this happen that's how I usually approach mindset issues so if I have something that's sticking me or stucking me usually I go back to sales first you know go back try to get those sales sales first sales solve everything they keep that cash inflow coming into your business so that you can keep moving forward and testing things because without money it's hard to test things you know you can't like keep running facebook ads if you don't got income coming in so figure out how you're going to get sales but uh once you've proven your concept then we got to start testing and tweaking things and if you haven't proven your concept or until you do prove your concept then you need to test other things test things that Whatever you got to test until you get sales. What else can I do? What else can I try? And eventually you're going to get that sale. You're going to know how long it took to get that sale, what had to happen for you to get that. And then you can start mapping out that path all the way toward your empire and figuring out how you're going to reach it in the time frame that you want and while making the impact you want. So I guess that's pretty much all I've got for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you all being here. And uh, if you want to drop me a like, please feel free to do so. If you want my notifications, you'll have to click get notifications, but you also have to be subscribed before you can get those notifications. Anyway, I'm Sinister Lex. Thank you so much for watching and following and being present. And I will see you next time.